News from Serie A, where Lazio made a winning start to 2013 to close the gap on leaders Juventus to five points. Marco Sao gave Caleri a surprise lead shortly after the hour mark, but Abdoulaye Conco's goal and Antonio Candreva's penalty rescued the points for Lazio. To add to a disappointing day for Caleri, they also had Michael Agazi and Andrea Kosu sent off in the last 10 minutes of the match. In the day's only other game, Catania and Torino played out a goalless draw. Juventus can stretch that lead at the top back to eight points if they beat Sampdoria at home later today. They'll be confident of doing just that too. They've won their last six games straight. And Juve could be said to add to their already strong side with the attacking talents of Athletic Bilbao's Fernando Llorente. Lorente plays for the Spanish national team and he's done great things at Athletic Bilbao and he's surely an interesting player since he didn't renew his contract. Juventus should remain with eyes open and monitor the situation, in particular because there could be the chance to buy a great player for not much money and if he chooses Juventus we will surely be happy. Eh, siamo contenti. Elsewhere, Inter will look to keep pace with those at the top of the division when they travel to Udinese. Andrea Stramaccioni's side have failed to win their last two league outings, but they can take heart from the fact Udinese haven't won any of their last three in all competitions. In the day's other games, third place Fiorentina face Pescara at home as they look to close the gap on Lazio in second. And Milan will look to bounce back from their defeat to Roma before the break to beat Siena at the San Siro.